What's up everyone? Today I'm here to give you something pretty awkward. What do I mean? Here's 15 moments that are awkward to photographers. So how awkward are they? Are they and how often have you come across these? Here we go. I'm sure this is one of the most awkward moments any professional photographer that, that you know that they can have. And that's when everything's set up, your gear's already, your flash is up, your soft boxes are on, you have your model pose nicely, your lighting looks nice, and all of a sudden you gotta take a photo and lens cap. Bam! Oh, looks like everything's looking good. All right, I think we're ready to shoot. All right, here we go now. Okay, why is it dark? Oh, shit, it's the lens cap. The other thing that's annoying is that your batteries are are dead on arrival when you get to a shoot, so you're kind of screwed. So you're cruising out, you just got done shooting the, you know, the wedding ceremony, and you're like, all right, time to get to the reception, let's go park. So you pull in the park, and all of a sudden, you don't have any cash, and you're like, well, what the hell am I gonna do? I have nothing except uh, lint, and I can't pay for parking. Someone help. When you go to ask a client to, you know, accentuate their jawline so it's very nice, you know, eliminates maybe a double chin or something like that, and when you go to ask them, you pretty much fail. Okay, so do you mind, you know, just uh, sticking your, your forehead down and out, something like this, you know, doing the Peter Hurley, and all of a sudden they do something like this. <sighs> Forgetting to invoice a client, so that means you're not going to get paid either on time or um, at all. When you make a baby cry non-stop as soon as you arrive to their session, so talk about, you know, losing out on a shoot and looking like a moron. When you're all ready, you're all set, you're all packed, you, you arrive to a, you know, someone's house to do a family portrait, and then when you get in there, you see all 15 of them wearing the same Red Bull Christmas sweater from the 70s. Yeah, that's too awkward. Getting asked if you shoot weddings while you're actually shooting a wedding they're attending. When you're meeting with a client, and then all of a sudden they ask you for your email address, and the professional email address you use is something uh, you had in high school. So when they ask you, hey, what's your email address, you say, uh, go Phillies, girl, one, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, smiley face, at AOL.com. Not professional. I'll just leave. Accidentally calling a client uh, when you meant to call for fast food and delivery. <laughs> yes, Mr. Johnson, I would be happy to shoot your wedding. It was, it was very nice talking to you. All right, time to eat some Domino's. Let's do this. Hey, yo, what's up, Dirty D? Can I get my, uh, you know, my five slices and everything like that? You know, nah, screw everything. Oh, Mr. Johnson, um, I was just kidding. I was, uh, I was, uh, uh, nothing. I love to shoot your wedding. That moment when you're at a wedding or event where it's supposed to be completely silent, there's an important speaker on, and all of a sudden you hear zip, meaning you are trying to get into your camera bag and you accidentally close it. So, uh, yeah, really freaking awkward. I hate that. Actually tripping over your own camera bag, which you literally just put down two seconds ago. I won't trip. When you're in a great heated debate about the newest, you know, camera that's coming out, and then all of a sudden the word bokeh comes up and it becomes a bokeh, bokeh, uh, uh, you know, argument. No one will ever win. It's like never going to happen. It's bokeh, by the way. You know, when you're getting a little romantic time going on here with your special someone, your sweet little someone, and all of a sudden, you know, things are getting hot and heavy, then all of a sudden, you know, you look up at them and you're like, wow, that white bounce is off of that lamp. We have to get that fixed. Talk about an awkward moment killer. And no action. Being asked what you shoot, not knowing what, you know, the other person uses to photograph, and you're like, yeah, I'm a Nikon user. And then they give you the awkward look. You shoot Nikons, I'm a Canon person. So there are 15 moments that are pretty awkward that happens to photographers, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you can relate to this. So I want you guys to let me know down below some other awkward moments uh, that you have had happen to you, and it'd be awesome to hear. Eric Rossi, the guy with the eye. Please subscribe, you know, give us a thumbs up if you thought this was funny or pretty damn true. Once again, these are so awkward. So don't worry if things are awkward in life. It actually makes things enjoyable. Let me know down below. Have a good one. Don't be awkward.